Paulino Alcantara, dubbed as one of the best footballers that ever played for the Spanish football club FC Barcelona, if not one of the best footballers to ever exist, but was also a medical professional and an active member of future Spanish dictator Francisco Franco's political movement. But how such a crazy life started with humble beginnings? Paulino was born on October 7, 1896. His father was a Spanish military officer and his mother was a native in the province of Iloilo in the Philippines. Three years later in 1899, his family would move from his hometown of Concepcion to Barcelona, Spain to escape from the conflicts in the Philippines. Paulino Alcantara, who was born in 1896, arrived in Barcelona with his family when he was only three years old. By chance, that was the year that Barca was founded. And this was a Barcelona that was growing as a great city, but still at really quite a slow pace. And sports such as football were pretty much unknown in Barcelona. Football and medicine seems to have influenced the young Paulino that in his youth career, he played for the football club Galeno, which was a group founded by medical students. In Barcelona, Paulino attended a local Jesuit school and one day, while playing with his friends, he just happened to see a game of football for the first time. In 1912, a 15-year-old Paulino was picked up by the founder of FC Barcelona, Juan Gamber, to join the Barcelona's academy. Surprisingly, he made his senior year at the same time. His debut match was against Catalan SC and Barcelona would win 9-0 with Paulino scoring a hat-trick of 3 goals. Being the youngest ever player to score a hat trick at the time and play for FC Barcelona in an official match. He was very disciplined, very consistent. I think that's the main reason he achieved what he did on a professional and sporting level. And that's what my grandmother would say that he was a very upright man, very disciplined. And I think that from when he was very young, he was very clear about his objectives in life, as you might say. And I think that's why he was able to achieve everything that he did achieve. He would play for the Barcelona team for four years while only appearing for 37 matches. He scored 79 goals. That's two goals for every match he played. In 1916, his family decided to return back to the Philippines. Paulino Alcantara's education was extremely disciplined and he was very clear about his priorities. He loved football, but first and foremost were his studies. And he was in no doubt that he wanted to dedicate his life to medicine. Nonetheless, when his parents sent him to the Philippines to deal with family business and continue his training in medicine, he was very disappointed to have to leave Barca. He decided to study medicine while also playing for football club Bohemian Sporting. A football club based in Manila, appearing for only 23 matches, he scored an astonishing 88 goals, almost 4 goals every match. The following year, 1917, he was selected to play for the Philippines in the Far Eastern Championship, where they won against Japan 15-2. 15 goals, with Paulino scoring another hat-trick. Coincidentally, Japan would also win against the Philippines 15-0 50 years later, with Japan being the Philippines' biggest win and loss. After winning against Japan, the Philippines would go against the Republic of China, which they would lose 3-0, with the match being abandoned due to the Philippine goalkeeper punching a Chinese player in a bowl of curing. Paulino, however, wanted to go back to Barcelona, and he still had a great love for the club. In fact, there's a story that when he played a game in the Philippines, they didn't have a shirt for him to wear, and he wore his Barca shirt. And so that means that he took a Barca shirt to the Philippines with him. With him contracting malaria and refusing to take the medicine until he was allowed to go back to Barcelona, the feeling was mutual with FC Barcelona not winning any major trophies in his absence and pleaded for Paulino's parents to bring him back to Spain. A year later in 1918, he returned back to Barcelona but as a defender, suggested by his former teammate and manager, Jack Greenwell. But that went as well as Jadon Sancho in Manchester United, so fans demanded for Paulino to return to an attacking position. In 1919, probably one of the weirdest stories in football history, Paulino scores a police goal. It was coming back then for police to patrol the areas around the goal post, but Paulino kicked the ball so hard that it broke the net and hit a police officer. For example, he once played in a game in Bordeaux for Spain and they called him the net buster because he tore the netting with a shot. And the French keeper, he was called Emile Fries, he said that Paulino Alcantara shoots with the violence of a bullet. And it was true. 
Another story about Paulino, not so well known, was from 1919. Barca were playing against Real Sociedad in the Spanish Championship. Barca won 6-0. And remember the kind of football we're talking about back then. He hit a really powerful shot, the Real Sociedad keeper, who was called Miranda. The ball flew past him, and it hit a policeman who was walking past the goal just at that moment, in the middle of the goal itself. And they said, well, this is what our grandparents said at the time, that the ball and the policeman went into the net. Only word of mouth from attendees ever exists of proof of the existence of the one and only police goal. But it's more fun to wonder about it than to dismiss it. He ended his Barcelona stint in 1927 with a total number of match appearances throughout his Barcelona time of 141 matches, scoring a total of 271 goals. In the total numbers of matches counting for friendlies, he played for 399 matches and scored 395 goals. Before the existence of the Spanish league, Spanish football was divided into regions. Paulino won 10 Catalan titles and 5 Copa del Rey. Paulino was eligible to play for the Philippines, Spain, and Catalonia. In 1920, he was selected to represent Spain in the 1920 Summer Olympics when he decided not to play to take his final medical exam. At age 31, Alcantara retired from playing football to become a doctor. He still wasn't done with football as he became the club director for Barcelona from 1931 to 1934. In the same decade of 1930, Paulino was a member of the Falange Española, a fascist political organization. But in 1936, he fled to Andorra and France because Francesco Franco's coup failed to take Barcelona. Paulino began participating in the nationalist troops of Francesco Franco as a doctor. During the Spanish Civil War, Paulino was a lieutenant of the 1st Battalion of the Black Arrows, a volunteer corps directed directly by Benito Mussolini, the dictator of Italy. In 1939, he would enter Barcelona not as a footballer, but a coup lieutenant, winning victoriously. After the war and the toppling of the Second Spanish Republic, Paulino decided to live in Barcelona while still being a lieutenant of the Black Arrows, as well as being a chief of the FAT, Paulino was crowned a hero for his role as a field doctor and a prominent lieutenant. And after the war and the rise of the dictatorship under Francisco Franco, Paulino opened a medical clinic. This dude is him. Even though having a controversial career after football, he is still a beloved figure in Barcelona. He is commonly named one of the greatest Asian football players of all time. But at heart, he was a Catalan. He died in 1964 at the age of 67, buried in the Les Courts Cemetery with his wife near Camp Nou, the home of FC Barcelona. 100 years after his football stint, his name was not forgotten as his boots are commemorated in FC Barcelona's museum, the Copa Paulina Alcantara named after him in a tournament in the Philippines Football Federation, with his home province of Iloilo being represented by Kaya Iloilo Football Club winning the tournament three times and recently winning the Philippines Football League for the first time. Iloilo has always been known for housing football love in a country full of basketball or volleyball craze. So did Paulino's Philippine blood from Iloilo give him his football abilities or did he give the essence of football to Iloilo? Who knows? Paulino Alcantara, the man that was a footballer, a doctor, and a coup lieutenant, had an interesting life. From his football career almost being an enigma due to the lack of photographic or video evidence of his play, to his controversial political ties in fascism, to just wanting to have peace and settle down with his family, Paulino Alcantara was him. My grandfather always said that he had the handkerchief to wipe away the sweat from his forehead. That's why he had it there. And that's what he always told me. Well, I remember that my grandmother would tell me that they'd go to the football because they played earlier then, and then they'd go to the theatre. And when they went in, the people would applaud him because he'd have scored maybe four or five goals. It depended, but they'd always applaud him. 